Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about ISLM model. This model is given by British economist John Hicks. This model divided into two parts. First part include I S. Here I represent investment, S represent saving. And investment and saving tell us about the equilibrium in goods market. And second part include L M. Here L represent liquidity demand or we can say that money demand. And M represent money supply. And money demand and money supply tell us about the equilibrium in money market. So I S tell us about the equilibrium in goods market. L M tell us about the equilibrium in money market so we can say that this model ISLM basically talk about interaction between goods market and money market and also explain how these markets affect each other in today's video we will talk about what is IS curve derivation of IS curve what is LM curve derivation of LM curve and equilibrium of IS and LM so let's start it so firstly we are going to talk about IS curve and derivation of IS curve. So, what is IS curve? IS curve represent various combination of income and interest rate which tell us about equilibrium in goods market. IS curve represent various combination of income and interest rate which tell us about equilibrium in goods market. For derivation of IS curve, we need two diagrams. Diagram A and diagram B. In diagram A, on X axis we have income and Y axis we have aggregate demand. In diagram B, on X axis we have income and Y axis we have interest rate. This AS is aggregate supply curve and this AD is aggregate demand curve. As we know, aggregate supply is equal to income. This Y is our income and income is equal to C plus S. C is consumption, S is saving, means some part of our income we consume and some part of our income we save. And this AD is aggregate demand curve, aggregate demand is equal to C plus I. C is consumption expenditure, I is investment expenditure. At this E point, aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply. When our aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply, means our saving is equal to investment. So this point tell us about equilibrium in goods market. So E point tell us equilibrium in goods market. And at this equilibrium point, our income is O Y. We will extend this income line in our second diagram. You can see at this equilibrium point, our income is O Y and at this point our interest rate is O R and here we go to one A point which tell us about equilibrium in goods market. Now suppose interested for O R to O R 1 interested for O R to O R 1 and our new interest rate is O R 1. When interested fall, our investment increase because investment and interest rate have an inverse relation. When interest rate increase, investment fall. When interest rate fall, investment increase. Why investment and interest rate have an inverse relation? Because as we know, when interest rate is very high, people borrow less money from banks for investment purpose. On the other hand, when interest rate is low, people borrow more money from banks for investment purpose. So, we can say that investment and interest rate have an inverse relation. When interest rate increase, investment fall. When interest rate fall, investment increase. So, as interest rate fall, OR2, OR1, our investment increase. And when our investment increase, our aggregate demand curve shift forward. You can see here, because our aggregate demand include consumption plus investment. Our previous investment was uh, I and new investment is I1 and our aggregate demand curve shift forward you can see here and our new equilibrium point is E1. Uh, you can see here when our investment increase our income also increase OY2 OY1. Okay, why investment increase, income also increase? Because uh, when investment increase, uh, output increase, employment increase, as a result our national income increase. So our income also increase OY2, OY1. And our new equilibrium point is E1. We will extend this income line in our second diagram. Okay, you can see at this equilibrium point E1, our income is OY1 and our interest rate is OR1. And we join this line. 
हेयर वी हैव न्यू पॉइंट बी विच टेल अस अबाउट इक्वली बिरयानी इन गुड्स मार्केट सो यू कैन सी हेयर एज इंटरेस्टेड फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट इंक्रीज इन्वेस्टमेंट इंक्रीज अवर एग्रीकेट डिमांड का शिफ्ट फॉरवर्ड एंड अवर न्यू इक्वली बिरयानी पॉइंट इज ई वन एज इन्वेस्टमेंट इंक्रीज अवर इनकम ऑल्सो इंक्रीज ओ वाई टू ओ वाई वन वी एक्सटेंड दिस इनकम लाइन इन अवर सेकेंड डायग्राम यू कैन सी एट ई वन पॉइंट अवर इनकम इज ओ वाई वन एंड अवर इंटरेस्ट रेट इज आर वन एंड अवर न्यू इक्वली बिरम पॉइंट इज बी विच टेल अस इक्वली बिरम इन गुड्स मार्केट नाउ सपोज इंटरेस्टेड फॉल अगेन इंटरेस्टेड फॉल ओ आर वन टू ओ आर टू न्यू इंटरेस्ट इज ओ आर टू एज इंटरेस्टेड फॉल इन्वेस्टमेंट इंक्रीज एज इन्वेस्टमेंट इंक्रीज एग्रीकेट डिमांड कर शिफ्ट फॉरवर्ड यू कैन सी एग्रीकेट डिमांड कर वे शिफ्टिंग फॉरवर्ड और प्रीवियस इन्वेस्टमेंट वॉज आई वन एंड न्यू इन्वेस्टमेंट इज आई टू एंड न्यू इक्वली बिरम पॉइंट इज ई टू एज इन्वेस्टमेंट इंक्रीज इनकम ऑल्सो इंक्रीज यू कैन सी अवर इनकम इंक्रीज ओ वाई वन टू ओ वाई Two. We will extend this income line in our second diagram. You can see at this E two equilibrium point, our income is O Y two and interest rate is O R two. Here we got one new point C, which which tell us about equilibrium in goods market. So you can see here we have three point A, B, C, which tell us about equilibrium in goods market. When we join this point, we will make our I S curve. so we can say that uh, is curve represent various combination of interest rate and income which tell us about equilibrium in goods market and slope of our is curve is downward now we are going to talk about lm curve and derivation of lm curve here l means liquidity demand or we can say that money demand m means money supply so what is lm curve lm curve represent various combination of income and interest rate which tell us about equilibrium in money market lm curve represent various combination of income and interest rate which tell us about equilibrium in money market for derivation of lm curve we need two diagrams diagram a and diagram b On diagram A, x-axis we have money demand and money supply, and y-axis we have interest rate. On B diagram, on x-axis we have income and y-axis we have interest rate. This MS is our money supply curve. Here we assume our money supply is constant. This MD is money demand curve. is equilibrium point where money demand is equal to money supply and our equilibrium interest rate is or we will extend the same interest rate in our second diagram you can see at equilibrium point interest rate is or and income is oy here we have a point which tell us about equilibrium in money market now suppose income increase from oy to oy1 income increase from O Y two O Y one. As income increase, money demand also increase. That's why money demand curve shift forward from M D to M D one. Why as income increase, money demand also increase? Because as income of person is continuous increasing, he will create more money demand. Means he want to hold more money for different motives. That's why as income increase from O Y two O Y one, money demand also increase and money demand curve shift. to from md to md1 and our new equilibrium point is e1 you can see when money demand increase our interest rate also increase from or to or1 because money supply is constant only money demand is increasing that's why interest rate also increase from or to or1 and our new equilibrium point is e1 and equilibrium interest rate is or1 we will extend this same interest rate in our second diagram you can see at e1 equilibrium point our interest rate is r1 okay and our income is o y1 here we got one new point b which tell us about equilibrium in money market now suppose our income increase again our income increase from o y1 to o y2 our income increase from o y1 to o y2 as income increase our money demand also increase that's why 
आवर मनी डिमांड कर शिफ्ट फॉरवर्ड फ्रॉम एम डी वन टू एम डी टू एम डी टू इज अवर न्यू मनी डिमांड कर एज मनी डिमांड इंक्रीज बट मनी सप्लाईज कॉन्स्टेंट अवर इंटरेस्टेड ऑल्सो इंक्रीज अवर इंटरेस्टेड इंक्रीज फ्रॉम ओ आर वन टू ओ आर टू ई टू इज अवर न्यू इक्वलीबीरियम पॉइंट आर टू इज अवर इक्वलीबीरियम इंटरेस्टेड वी विल एक्सटेंड सेम इंटरेस्टेड इन अवर डायग्राम बी यू कैन सी एट ई टू इक्वलीबीरियम पॉइंट अवर इंटरेस्टेड इज आर टू एंड अवर इनकम इज ओ वाई टू एंड वी गोट अ न्यू पॉइंट सी विच टेल अस अबाउट इक्वली बिरम इन मनी मार्केट हेयर यू कैन सी वी हैव थ्री पॉइंट ए बी सी विच टेल अस अबाउट इक्वली बिरम इन मनी मार्केट वेन वी ज्वाइन ऑल दिस पॉइंट वी विल गोट अवर एल एम कर दिस इज अवर एल एम कर सो वी कैन से दैट एल एम कर बेसिकली रिप्रेजेंट वेरियस कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेट एंड इनकम विच टेल एस अबाउट इक्वली बीरियम इन मनी मार्केट एंड स्लोप ऑफ एल एम कर विज अपवर्ड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अवर जर्नल इक्वली बीरियम इन गुड्स मार्केट एंड मनी मार्केट एज वी अर्लियर डिस्कस आई एस टेल एस अबाउट इक्वली बीरियम इन गुड्स मार्केट एंड एल एम टेल एस अबाउट इक्वली बीरियम इन मनी मार्केट वेन आई एस कर वेन एल एम कर इंटरसेक्ट ईच अदर इट डिटर्मिन साइमल्टेनियसली इक्वली बीरियम इन बोथ मार्केट इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी ओन एक्स एक्स इज वी हैव इनकम एंड वाई एक्स इज वी हैव इंटरेस्टेड दिस रेड वन इज एल एम कर दिस ब्लैक वन इज आई एस कर एट दिस ई पॉइंट आई एस एंड एल एम इंटरसेक्ट ईच अदर सो वी कैन से एट दिस ई पॉइंट and both markets are simultaneously is in equilibrium so this is all about is lm model i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care